Hi everybody, it's Susan. Um, I wanted to quickly share this project with you that I made. It is the um, toilet tissue paper roll. I just love the way it came out. Um, I use a graphic 45 uh, papers that is the um, Le Romantique line. Um, I have I have all of this um, trim wrapped around it. I'm actually going to take it off um, so that I can show it to you. Sorry about that. I should have prepared it in advance, but I was making a project that I was using this trim for, and I had purchased quite a bit of it from my fabric store because they said they were not getting this in anymore, and um, I took all of it. <clears throat> so that's how much I love it. Okay, now you're going to be able to see what I made. I'm so sorry. Okie dokie. Here we go. Okay. There it is. Um, I love this paper. The roses are just so feminine and so pretty. And it, it is a toilet tissue paper roll. And to make the circles, I used four pieces of uh, the cardstock with the flowers on it. And for the center, for it to be um, stiff, I used two pieces of cereal board that I cut out with my uh, number two circle die from Sizzix. And to adhere it all, I used um, Mod Podge. I put the Mod Podge on the paper, and I'm trying to get a piece of glue off here. I put the Mod Podge on the paper, and um, and then I just rolled the paper right onto the tissue roll, so it worked out really nicely. Um, and what I wanted to show you, what I had done up here was I had um, hand cut out um, a, a rose, and I had made this rose. I, I put Mod Podge on the paper before making the rose, just to make it a little more pliable. Uh, behind that, I used my um, idea that I came up with by wrapping your flowers in burlap, and I just love that. There's one of the new flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with some of their really other uh, beautiful flowers. There's this one, and then there's that um, there's that beautiful um, bud rose in the background in peach. These are hydrangeas that I cut and twist and stick them in as fillers. Here is Wild Orchid Craft's beautiful seam binding that I uh, made look vintage. And I also used my number two um, Sizzix die to cut out this um, cardboard circle and cover it with another piece of um, designer cardstock from Graphic 45, which looks like that kind of Baroque or damask look and I put about five coats of beauty on there for it to be nice and stiff and shiny and to look like a button and I threaded the um, the um, seam binding through that. There are some more of the um, wild orchid crest flowers, just gorgeous. I, I love them, they're so beautiful. And here is again more wild orchid crest flowers, the rose, another beautiful flower. I don't know the name of some of them, I'm really sorry. The names are not on the package and I just didn't have time to go into the website to get it. But if you go to wildorchidcrest.com, all of these flowers and more are there for you to look at, drool over, and purchase. It's just a random scattered pearl. Um, some of the wild orchid crafts, um, organ, not organs, I'm sorry, um, hydrangea flowers that I cut and use as a filler. Um, and then getting back to the rows that I made. And in the center here is a piece of cushion with, um, with some of these really beautiful um, stick pins that I had made. And so I will be using this, for example, if I'm making a project and I need to use a pin, I can simply take a pin and when I'm done, just stick it right back in there. So as you can see, like I had started before, um, I was making this project and I was going to be using quite a bit of, the, um, of this beautiful trim here. So I figured instead of going in and out of my the box that I have everything in, I thought I would just have it all tied around this and it worked out really well for me so I love the way it came out it's very pretty in fact I think I'm going to make a couple of these because it's um it's also a really nice little bit of a conversation piece plus I can keep out some of my trims and laces instead of putting them all away and I keep out what I need and when I'm done with it I'll take it off and put it away and then take out whatever I'm using so it looks really nice. I also had saved a bounty towel 
um, roll for those of you who have not tried that yet. You can cut it in half and it kind of makes one about a little bit larger than this. You'll have two of them or you can make one really large one and I'll share that with you when I'm done with that project. But in the meantime, I hope you try this out. It came out really very pretty and my favorite was my idea with the burlap wrapped around the flowers. It just works out so nice. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you like mine. Have a great day. Bye!